Rim service. Mm. Wow, you spoil me. I can't help myself. You're up early. Yeah, I got some work to do before I go into the office. Mm. You look nice. Thank you. Mm. Well, how's the tea? Yes. I rule or a rock or something. <laughs> what do I do? Uh, actually, I think either one is technically correct. I must sometimes wonder why you married somebody so, so tragically unhip. Easy. Because you make a great cup of tea. Not to mention offers bedside delivery. to tell me when you're running low on these. Um, I'm running low on those. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Say, ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... Thank you. <sighs> don't look at me like that. I just don't think that, that you appreciate this. The fact that I have a serious heart condition. I'm sorry, doctor, I forgot. But that's what I do best, right? Mm. <laughs> yeah. And I worry about you. That's what I do best. All right. All right. I'll refill them on the way home tonight. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Not a bit. <laughs> I was thinking... Uh-oh. Oh, no. I was just thinking that it's been a while since we've been up to the ranch, and maybe we should go this weekend. Mmm, sold. I'll cancel my Friday afternoon appointments. Wow, that was easy. Next question. How did you know there was going to be another? Because there always is. Come on. First one's meant to, to soften me up. Now you're going to hit me with the tough one. Never mind. Uh, no. No, no, no. No. Come on. No. No. That's not, not fair. No fair. Doing it. Come on. Allison, tell me. Well, it's just that I was thinking, um, you know, we haven't talked about trying to get pregnant in a while. Oh, uh, now I get it. That's why you, you forgot to tell me about the pills. No, well, it's just that, you know, Janet says that... Janet says, here we go, the, the evils of modern medicine, right? No, she just thinks that, you know, maybe we should consider some alternatives, you know, some herbal remedies, some homeopathic therapy. Uh-huh, um, like, like what, applying leeches? Realigning your, your chakras? Wait, 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 I bet uh, Eye of Newt is in there somewhere, I suppose. Uh-huh, uh -huh. uh -huh. go ahead, laugh it up, buddy. Honey, I'm sorry. I know that whack job's a friend of yours, but um, the woman thinks that the cure for everything can be found at the local health food store. Modern drugs have saved a lot more people than they've harmed. But I love the ranch idea. We'll go out and have some fun, clear our heads, talk about this very, very important subject further. Okay? I love you. I love you. Have a nice day. <laughs> you too. The point is the guy is lying. He's trying to tell us that these new homes of his are going to increase the value of ours when actually it'll drive our property values down. These nice quiet little streets, the traffic will quadruple, triple or more with his buyers trying to get to their nice quiet little streets. Anyway, I've called an association meeting for next Tuesday. Well, did the association request an EIR? An EI what? Environmental impact report. And that'll tie him up for a year minimum. Meanwhile, we can have the city assess the effects of the additional tonnage on the roads. I, I mean, they'll be assessing um, uh, the contractor trucks, the delivery vehicles, not to mention heavy machinery, earth movers, and so forth. Oh, we need signatures and lots of them if we want to get their attention. We've got to bury them in paperwork. Petitions are a great place to start. 
Where did that come from? I, I don't know. Did you study law? Your guess is as good as mine. No, oh, you know, I think that's me. Hello there. Hey, are you busy? Not just taking a walk. Why? So what does that mean? Your guess is as good as mine. How much is it worth? Oh, she has amnesia. No. Like real amnesia. Yeah, just like that, yeah. Ooh, that could be dangerous. She seems pretty with it for someone who can't remember anything. Oh, she can remember things, just nothing more than a year ago. Okay, well, it'll take me a couple minutes to get home from here, and, uh, what, let's say 20 minutes? Okay. Love you. Bye. Love you, too. Okay, so that was Steve. I've got to run something up to the office for him, but I want to pick this up again, and anything I can do for you. Thanks. It was really nice meeting you. You, too. Call me later. Yeah, definitely. I never knew anybody with amnesia, I must say. Sometimes I envy her. I think when? Whenever I think of my ex. Dr. Morgan. Please tell me she's all right. She's gonna be fine. Oh, thank God. There's some bruising, some minor lacerations. I hope you don't mind. I had a look at the skull x-ray. Yes, there is a mild concussion, but once the supranal edema subsides in a day or two, she should be fine. Terrific. Well, that's a relief. I'd like to keep her here for observation, though, just to be on the safe side. Yeah, absolutely. I have under mild sedation at the moment. She's resting comfortably. But I'd like to get a jump on her paperwork, so... Oh, tell me about it. These insurance companies, they make our lives a living hell, don't they? So you wouldn't mind filling out a medical history for her, then? Absolutely. Great. I'll stop by in the morning to check in. Okay. Take care. You too. This is slight. I'd hate to know what a really bad one feels like. It's fine, Allison. You're gonna be fine. Sleep as much as you can. Okay, your body needs to heal itself. Good to see you walking around. Oh, well, I've been doing it for about 30 or so years, so I've gotten pretty good at it. <laughs> good to see your sense of humor's back as well. Feeling all right? Well, I don't know if I'd go that far, but better than when I got here, yeah. Good. You probably have some discomfort for the next several days, so I've prescribed some pain medication to help you with that. Great, thank you. Dr. Morgan. You know, call me Steve. Okay, you can call me Jennifer. Jennifer? Well, you're all checked out. Ready to go home? Ah, yes. No rest for the wicked. I gotta run. Steve, Allison, pleasure. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Thanks for everything. Thank you. First thing I'm gonna do is take a nice hot bath. Sounds great. While you're soaking away, I'll make a nice dinner. Ooh, the royal treatment. All the way. I should get in accidents more often. How about not? 
Ooh, there's Janet. Slow down a second. Do I have to? Okay, slowing down. Hey there, how you doing? Ugh, as good as can be expected. Oh. Is there anything you need? A night in my own bed. Yeah, I'll second that. Ugh, poor Steve. He spent the entire night sleeping in a chair. Oh, Steve. <laughs> Always playing the doting husband. Yeah, well, now I have to play the overprotective husband and get her home to bed, okay? Okay, but seriously, you need anything? Just give me a call. I'll give you a call tomorrow. Bye. See ya. Dinner is almost ready. Okay, no, it so isn't. <laughs> How was your bath? Mm, I have no idea. It's fantastic. I lit a candle. I feel like a different person. To having you back. Here, here. Cheers. Mm. So, what is Chef Steve creating for us tonight? Chicken, cacciatore, little salad, and uh, just some homemade polenta. <laughs> You're amazing. You know, I want to argue with you there, but uh, I can't. as a sheet. Are you okay? I don't know. I just, I felt dizzy. Allison, if there's something wrong, you gotta tell me. It's nothing, really. I can't help you if you don't tell me what it is. It's just a bit, I've been having these weird flashes of stuff. What? Images. Like what? Uh, a house, a, a man with a tattoo on his arm. I don't know. They're really hazy yet vivid at the same time. They, they almost feel like memories. Well, it's possible. I mean, maybe the, maybe the accident triggered something. Maybe the, Swelling from the concussion is exerting pressure. I mean, you know, the right kind of trauma to the limbic system. Who knows? Okay. You know what? Let's not, let's not jump to conclusions here, okay? Let's get you a night in your own bed. We'll see how you are in the morning. 
It's just that they were so disturbing. Your whole life was disturbing, sweetheart. Your parents, your, your ex-boyfriend, all of it, exceedingly so. But you know, I saw a little girl, blonde like me. It, it... Maybe it was you. It's been a rough few days, huh? Maybe it's just stress, exhaustion. Go to bed. I'll bring you dinner. Thank you. How did I get so lucky to have you? I don't know. Awesome. Hey, calm down. It's just me. What are you doing out here? I don't. I don't know. I had a bad dream. Come back in. I'm all right, just a little tired, thanks. Well, you gave us all a good scare. Ah, ah, tell me about it. Hey, I want you to know, I took all of your ideas and ran with them. In fact, the environmental consultant's coming to this meeting. Oh, great. I was actually supposed to meet him here a few minutes early. I'm running late, of course. <laughs> but I'm still counting on you to draft that petition. Goodness knows we could use you. That's great, I'd be honored. Great, see you inside. All right. Hey, Janet. Hey. <laughs> well, no good deed goes unpunished, huh? Yeah. Mom! What's wrong? Are you all right? Just not go in right now. Ever since the accident, I've been seeing things. 
Not a bright white light, I hope, because you're not supposed to walk towards that. Janet, I'm being serious. Yeah, I'm just trying to make you laugh. Thanks. Okay, what have you been seeing? Uh, I don't know, flashes of things. Memories? Well, that's what I thought, but you know, they're so painful. Well, from what you've told me, your life was no picnic. No, by painful, I mean my head actually hurts. You know that thing that yeah. when you eat ice cream, it's just like that only times 10,000. Ooh, that does sound painful. Well, do you think that's from the accident? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just, you know what, there's, there's something so vivid or weird about these images. Okay, like what? Um, a man with a tattoo, mm -hmm. uh, a little girl, a, a crashing bottle of milk, uh, a crucifix. I think I saw myself pregnant. Okay, pregnant. When our subconscious speaks to us, it's usually open for interpretation, but that seems pretty clear. Our dreams are just manifestations of all kinds of things going on in our lives. See, that's the thing that's freaking me out. They're not dreams. They're happening when I'm awake. Well, what does Steve say about all of it? Uh, he thinks it could be the accident. Um, swelling of the brain, stress, exhaustion. He's got a whole list of things. So basically, he doesn't know either. Yeah, I guess not. You know what? No one knows your body better than you do. So if you have any doubts, maybe you should get a second opinion. I thought about that. Yeah, it's just, you know, I don't want to hurt his feelings. I... But why don't you get a second opinion and then worry about his feelings? Hallucinations. Ah, uh, that might be too strong a word. <laughs> Would memories perhaps be a better one? We can't rule it out. These hallucinations may simply be your memories coming back to you. Trauma has been known to do this sort of thing. So there's some chance that... Oh, yes. People do recover from amnesia. Sometimes their memories come back all at once. Other times, they trickle and back. And sometimes people never get them back. True. Steve said I had to be prepared for that possibility. Well, yes, of course, always. But from what you're telling me, you may be one of the lucky ones. Oh, well, lucky is the last thing I feel when these flashes hit me. It's, um, the pain is excruciating. Physical pain, you mean? Uh, yes, it... And it starts back here and then it radiates around to the front. That does concern me. Other than the painkillers I prescribed, have you been taking any other medications? Yes, amiodarone. Amiodarone? Every day. Uh, that's an antiarrhythmic. Yes, for atrial fibrillation. <laughs> You're a little young to be being treated for AFib. It's rarely seen in anyone under 60. Yeah. You were tested for it? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I don't remember seeing anything on the EKG. As far as the amiodarone, it's got a number of side effects I'm aware of, but visions aren't one of them. I'm gonna schedule you for more thorough blood workup and an MRI. Let's see where that leads us. Okay. I'd also like to ask your husband about exactly what tests were previously run that resulted in the AFib diagnosis. Dr. Prasad, I'd prefer not to discuss this with him just yet. You know, not until we have something definite to tell him. He'd just be worried sick over it. And quite frankly, I'm just looking for a second opinion from an objective party, if that's all right. I understand. Thank you, I appreciate that. But if I can't talk to your husband, then I'd like to send you to a cardiologist as well to confirm the AFib diagnosis. Are you okay with that? Whatever it takes, I just need to know. I was thinking next summer, maybe we'd go to Paris. Do you like that? Go shopping, go to nice restaurants. Buy a diamond necklace. Hey, I'll take off all my clothes. I'll run up and down the Champs Elysees and uh, yeah, Earth to Allison. Hmm. You zoned out again. I'm sorry. It's okay. Hey, where were you this morning? I called. You didn't. You didn't answer the phone here. I called your cell. You didn't pick up. Oh, I was just out with Janet shopping. Man, you guys are inseparable lately. Will you get anything nice? Allison? How did you know I was in the house? In the... what? When you saved me from the fire, how did you know there was someone else in the house? I heard screaming. And you broke down the door? Yeah. And then you just saw me unconscious under a beam? Yeah, that's right. What is this? What, what is this? I thought we agreed not to talk about this anymore. 
You know, my past is not something that I want to choose or not choose to talk about. I just want to remember it. What you'd remember, your past, I wouldn't exactly call it comforting. You, you're, I know, you're, Steve. Your parents were abusive. Your relationship was abusive. Yeah, right, right. A classic cycle of abuse. I, I believe that I deserved what I got. It, yeah, but that's, that's not you anymore. Hey, you broke free of that, and now we have each other. Allison. You know how much I love you, don't you? Of course I do. You have nothing to be afraid of anymore. Okay? I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sure I'll be back to myself in a few days. Yeah. It just the message popped up and now it's not working. Okay, well, the first thing you need to do. I, no, I don't understand. My husband would probably understand. Look, is there any way you could just send somebody out? What, like today? Yeah, today, uh, this afternoon. Okay, I think Trey might be available. Okay, okay, I'm getting another call. Great, I'll see you then. Okay, bye. bye. Hello? Allison, it's Dr. Prasad. I have your test results. Oh, okay. And? It would be better if you came down to the office. Would 11.30 this morning be okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, that'd be fine. And if at all possible, I'd like you to bring some of the amiodarone that you've been taking with you. Okay, uh, one or... The bottle would be most helpful. All right. I'll see you then. Okay, great. Thanks. There's an area here that concerns me. Words no patient really wants to hear. Sorry. A peculiar lesion in the hippocampus and the cortical areas around it. A lesion? What, what, is that like a tumor? No, no, no need to worry about anything malignant. This is more like scar tissue, you know, something that was pre-existing. Um, so what, I was born with it or what? I don't understand. Follow me. Please, sit down. I also have the cardiologist report here. Now, the good news is there's no evidence of the AFib condition you describe. Not in the EKG, not in the chest x-ray, and not on the stress test. Your heart is fine, Allison. Other than the concussion you suffered in the accident, you're in perfect health. There's got to be some mistake. Clearly. Perhaps the earlier test you did gave you erroneous results. Perhaps it's a simple clerical error. Stranger things have happened. In fact, people are misdiagnosed more often than any of us would care to admit. OK, so if that's the good news. Yes. Now for the not so good news. The blood work. Pathology is negative. That's a good thing. Slight anemia, very common in women. But then we get to the toxicology screening. And it came back positive. But not for amiodarone. Oh, uh, I haven't been taking it since the accident. No, amiodarone is an extremely potent drug. It stays in the body for several months after you stop taking it, and there's no trace of it in your bloodstream. Well, that's just not possible. <laughs> Allison, I need to ask you again. Are you taking any other medications, prescription or recreational? No, just the amiodarone. I... 
What's going on? The lab found high levels of what appears to be a dopamine blocker, but the results were inconclusive. Now, I could retest your blood, but analyzing the pills themselves would provide us with more definitive results. You brought them with you? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Oh, I'm sorry. I'd like to have these analyzed if you don't mind. Sure, that's fine. I'll call you as soon as I know. Look, Allison, please, try not to worry too much. Easier said than done. As I said, mistakes happen all the time. I'm sure there's a valid explanation for this. I hope so. Okay, thank you. seeing aren't stopping, I take it. No, they're getting worse. You know, I mean, I don't know if I'm hallucinating, if I'm getting my memory back, or if I'm just going crazy. I mean, I almost killed that little girl. Yeah, but the point is you didn't. Yeah, but the whole thing happened because I was thinking about what Prasad said. Oh, the visions, what did she say? Uh, she said the same thing you did. She thinks they're memories. Do you see there? I should have been a doctor. Yeah, well, she also can't find any uh, evidence of my heart condition. This is a bad thing? Heck, we're two for two. No, actually, we're two for three if you count the accident. But, you know, two out of three is not bad. Sorry, I'm shutting up. Yeah, well, what's worse, the pills I've been taking for it? There's a possibility they might not even be what they're supposed to be. What does that mean? I don't know. Prasad's got to run some more tests. I take it you haven't talked to Steve about any of this? But I will. Well, you better. I don't know. I just, you know, I want to make sure I know exactly what's going on with me before I do. I mean, this could all just be a big mistake. But who's that? Hi, Trey from Uber Geek. You have a problem with your internet? <sighs> Is this going to take much longer? Well, it's hard to say, really. Listen, I gotta get to the bank before it closes. Do you want me to pick you up anything? No, I'm fine, thanks. Okay, I'll call and check in later, okay? Thank you. Bye, uh, computer guy. See ya. Well, there's nothing wrong with your hardware. Oh, I'm gonna have to run a diagnostic on your system. Okay, well, do what you gotta do. Hello? What are you up to? Um, just here with the computer guy. Uh, the internet went down earlier. That's strange. Hey, listen, I was thinking I was, uh, I was just looking at my schedule and this Friday's pretty late again. I thought maybe you'd be up to that trip to the ranch that I promised you before the accident. It'll take a long 
trail ride a Saturday morning, maybe have a picnic by the creek. What do you think? Um, well, that sounds great. I, but should I be riding with a concussion and all? Well, take it easy. Don't worry. Honey, you sound strange. What's going on? No, no, everything's fine. <laughs> uh, look, I've got to go. So, uh, can we talk about this when you get home? Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Found your problem. Oh yeah, what? This PC is infected with a keystroke logger. Pretty sophisticated too. Well, uh, what's a keystroke logger? Well, it means everything that you type is recorded, and whoever created it can access it. What, so you mean like a virus or something? Because my husband's really careful about that kind of stuff. He doesn't want me opening strange emails or... Got kids? No, no kids. Why? Well, this looks more like a hacksy of a parental control app I've seen up there. Who set up your computer? Uh, my husband. Doesn't want you surfing porn, huh? <laughs> you want me to get rid of it? Uh, yes, please. Busy house? Yeah, today. Hello? Allison, it's Dr. Prasad. Hold on a second. I hope you have some good news for me. I regret to say no. I sent the scans to the top neurologist in the state. The lesion we found is characteristic of people with retrograde amnesia. Oh, well, I mean, that's not exactly news. Um, what about the pills? The results, or more accurately, the implications of those results are very unsettling. I find myself in a very difficult and unpleasant position. Uh, what is it? The pills you've been taking are a form of risperidone, or some derivative thereof. Risperidone? Uh, what's that? It goes by various trade names, but it's a psychotropic drug most commonly used to treat paranoid schizophrenia. Schizophrenia? Yes. Now, in large dosages, the unaltered version has been known to cause varying degrees of memory loss. Play around with the chemistry, and who knows what the side effects would be. So wait a minute, you're telling me that the pills are suppressing my memory? I can't be 100% certain, but all the available evidence points in that direction, yes. Okay, but... But you said that the pills are a form of the drug, so... Mine has been altered? Yes. Almost like a street drug. This wasn't made in a lab. It was made in somebody's basement. The other matter we need to discuss is the fact that your husband... A licensed MD has been giving you this drug without your knowledge. Now, I know our visits were confidential in nature, but it is my duty, legally and ethically, to report this. Not only to the medical association, but to the police. This is a very serious matter. There will be an investigation. I wanted to tell you so you wouldn't be surprised by it. Um, please, Dr. Prasad. I, I really need to talk to him about this first. Can you please just give me a day? I'm very sorry, Allison, but my reputation and integrity are at stake here as well. I simply can't risk it. All I'm asking for is 24 hours. You said yourself that this could just be a mistake, so... Please. All right. But no more. Thank you. Honey, I'm home. Allison? You're not ready. What's, we got that dinner party at the Klein's. I told you about it weeks ago. I'm not going. What's wrong? I went back to Prasad. OK, and? I don't have a heart condition. I never did. These, these things, these pills that you've been giving me, they've been erasing my memory? What have you done to me?
Allison, I'm sorry. You have no idea how sorry I am. <sighs> You're sorry. That's all you have to say is you're sorry? I was hoping that I, I wouldn't have to do this, but I can see now that I have no choice. I'm gonna tell you the truth. It's not gonna be easy to hear. Tell me. There was a fire. But I didn't save you from it. Everything that I managed to salvage from our old life is in here. I saved it because I hoped that, that one day, maybe when enough time had passed, we'd, we'd be able to open it. And remember, we used to live in a, in a house, it was a nice house. It wasn't big or fancy, but it was, it was ours. And your parents lived with us. Your dad had made some, some bad investments. They had some financial trouble, and, and we took them in. So they weren't... They were good people. They helped us with... How dare you? Please, let me finish. We had this, this tub, this cloth with tub, this old antique thing, and I didn't, I didn't care for it, but you, you loved that tub. You light candles and you'd soak in there for an hour, sometimes more, until the candles burned all the way down. So I started the fire. We went out one night to a party and we left your parents to watch. Our daughter, <laughs> Becky. She was, she was five and she wanted more than anything to be just like her mommy. She, when we were out, she ran a bath and she got some candles and some matches. <laughs> they, they found your parents near the tub. They obviously tried to save her, but they were overcome by the smoke. You, you couldn't handle the loss. Not that I could, but you, you blamed yourself. Fire and the bath, the candles. That was all your fault. And a month after it happened, you had a complete nervous breakdown. At first, it was like you just shut down. It was nothing but a shell inside you. You 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 couldn't eat or talk, respond. You couldn't feed yourself. You are just a shell, nothing more. And then when you did finally start to communicate with the world, you invented memories, the ones that your subconscious was able to deal with. You, you even started to believe that you married your high school sweetheart instead of me. Probably because any association with... with Becky became too painful. The psychiatrist said it was schizophrenia and they wanted to put you in an institution, but I refused. I knew that there was a way to treat you myself, but if anyone found out that I, I'd lose my license, probably even go to jail. How could you do that? I, 
I had to. I didn't come to this easily. No, you see, no one would. It was that or lose you forever. And you had the gall. It is not even nearly a strong enough word. To choose what memories I was allowed to keep. No, it, it, it doesn't work that way. It's not, it's, it's not that, that simple. I mean, erasing memory isn't like cutting out a tumor. It's not that precise. I gave you an injection to your memory center, and then I used the pills to, to prevent it from repairing itself, at least until enough time had passed. And I couldn't risk anything reminding you of, of, of Becky, of who we were, so we had to run away. We cut all ties. And I had to make up the story about the abuse and, and the fire. I mean, I had to make you believe that your, your past was so horrible that you wouldn't want to relive it. So what? You, you're just going to decide when, when that time would be that I'd be able to remember again? Allison, I will, I will totally understand if you can't forgive me, but I did this for you because I love you. Honey, I was so scared. I lost you forever and nothing would bring you back. It was this or you end up in an institution forever. I need to be alone. I expect to see you here. I need to know. OK. Everything, every last detail. Come here for a second. Um, I, I can't just run out right now. I've got three patients in rooms and another one waiting. So let me finish up with them. And uh, I'll cancel the rest of the afternoon. Just wait in my office. Oh, you know what? Rosemary's out, though, so I'm going to have to make the calls myself. Uh, less. You want to do it? The appointment calendar's on the computer, and uh, patient phone numbers are in the database. That's fine. I can do that. Okay. So next Tuesday at 3.15 would work for you? Wonderful. Thank you. Bye-bye. anniversary.
Wait an hour. I'm just gonna bring you here myself. Were you? Yes. Honey, I'm not trying to hide anything from you. I'm just trying to protect you. Here's the, the pills, the labels. It's it's all here. I've told you everything. That's just it, Steve. I don't want you to tell me what my memories are. I don't even know what's real or not real anymore because of what you did to me. I did what I thought was right at the time, honey. I didn't feel like I had a choice, and I did it because I love you. I'll do anything. Just tell me what, you know, what else do you want from me? I want my memory back. Yeah, well, I don't know what calendar you're looking at. Mine says the 15th ain't till next week. In advance. What am I, the bank? Look, baby, I got my own problems here, OK? Why don't you get that new boyfriend of yours to give you a loan? Sweetie, hey, come on, knowing you, you'll figure some way to get it out of them. Trust me. Good luck. Sorry about that. So, it must be Janet's friend. Yes, Allison Morgan. We spoke on the phone earlier. That we did. Ah. Like a dog with a bone, that one. She was number four, should have quit after three. So, what can I do for you? Uh, well, I need some information on someone. That's what I do. Who's the mark? My husband. You want to know if you're seeing someone else, huh? No, I, I'm pretty certain there's no one else. OK, then. I don't understand. What exactly are you looking for that you're willing to pay me $300 a day plus expenses? I need to find out more about him, uh, his past. Past? OK. His name is Stephen Allen Morgan. He's a doctor. He has a private practice over on Garden Drive. Got it. We can start right away. Great. Uh, one more thing. I need you to look into someone else. Sure. Who's that? Me. Whatever you want from me, you've got it, okay? You can stay a day, a week, a month, whatever. Thanks. I just can't be around him right now. <sighs> know what you mean. Boy, do I know what you mean. Okay, so I guess I'll uh, head home and pack up a few things and take off before he gets there. Okay, I'm gonna run a few errands and then I'll meet you back in a bit. You know where the key is. Yeah. Oh, you. Oh. 
You'll be okay. Okay. See ya. Can I have city parking enforcement, please? Hi there, I think I might have some outstanding parking tickets. Can you check for me? License number. It's QLM 816. Mr. Jack Kruger. That's me. sitting across the street from my building for two hours. I thought you might have something to tell me. I don't know you from Adam, friend. I'm just sitting here waiting for my wife. Oh, OK. Which one of the four would that be? Or is there a new one? I know who you are, Mr. Kruger. Your reputation precedes you. Is that right? Yep. Yeah, my uh, wife's best friend, Janet, used you in her divorce a few years ago. Remember Janet? Medium height, long brown hair, kind of annoying. Yeah. Anyway, you've had a checkered past, huh? String of failed marriages, kicked out of the sheriff's department for taking bribes. So this situation should be familiar. Allison's a very sick woman. Schizophrenic, actually. She suffers from paranoid delusions, and I don't want you or anybody else feeding that paranoia. I'd appreciate if you told her that her husband's a solid citizen and a credit to the community. Do you think you can do that? Mac, for 10 Gs, I'll tell you the king of Siam. Always a pleasure doing business with a reasonable man. Hey, Jack, now you can pay those parking tickets. Have a nice day. Oh, yeah. Jackpot. Looks like we got a thumb and an index finger, plus some parcels. Can you run them? Already doing it. This guy's got a record anywhere in the country. We'll know in a couple minutes. I'll wait. So, look, after this, we're even, right? I mean, I could get fired here. You relax. No one's going to find out. So, uh, that check's made out to you. So? So... So you're not a cop anymore. I mean, if that was me, cha-ching. What can I tell you? I got religion. That was quick. And bingo. That's him. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. It says here this guy's dead. It's me. Have you heard? Sure what? Dr. Jennifer Prasad, right? That's your doctor, the one who was going to report Steve? Yeah, yeah, why? What's going on? They found her body this morning. She's been murdered. Yeah, Troy Lancaster, general practitioner, Boston. One prior for selling morphine under the counter. Killed in a car crash February 06. Must be a mistake. No mistake. Are there any details on the crash? I don't know. Please report something. Uh, checking. was in the car with him, and a Tyson 
both killed on impact and severely burned. Is there a picture of her? somewhere? I'm going to Janet's. Oh, what? I just, I need some time alone. Well, being with Janet's not being alone. I need some time away from you right now. I won't let you go, Allison. Allison is Jack Kruger. You're right. Your husband's not who he says he is. You're in danger. I'm on my way over there right now. Call the FBI. Tell them Lancaster and Anna Tyson are still alive. Yo, whoa, 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 whoa. You, you said nobody's gonna find out about this. What can I say? I lied. What happened with Prasad? <laughs> you think I killed Prasad? Honey, whatever else you might think about me, I'm not a murderer confused about a lot of things, but you know in your heart that I would never do that. Try me. All I want is for you to be happy. I just want us to move on. I have to go. Anna! Uh. Anna! Good morning, Anna. How are you feeling today? We're both doing fine. Oh. You scared me. Sorry, I thought that was you. Uh, you need a jump, it looks like. Ugh, the battery's dead. I really appreciate this. No problem. Try. Nothing, huh? Nope. Let me try. Okay. I really envy your husband, Anna. Doors and windows, they're locked. Whose car is that? That's Allison's. 
Is this gone? Yeah. He, he probably took her somewhere. You're probably right. Excuse me. Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. You're not going to break in, are you? Think of it as keyless entry. Yeah, but I have a key. Anya? Well, no. Then why bring it up? It's a good point. Great. Tell me you know that. I know that. Allison? 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 Let me look in here. So maybe we should call the police. And tell them what? Everything's fine over here. And oh, yeah, by the way, we decided to break in just to make sure. Look, all I can prove right this minute is that he was willing to pay me 10 grand instead of $300 a day plus expenses. Whose cell phone? The ranch. The ranch? They have a ranch out by Green Mountain. Allison said Steve wanted to go out there this weekend. I just got a few chores to do. I'll be right up, OK? God, how much I love it out here. Ah, son of a bitch! What are you doing to me? What have you done with my family? My child? With my real husband? As far as I'm concerned, I am your real husband. Why me? Because I love you, Allison. Would I go to all this, this trouble if I didn't? You know? You were the perfect woman once. Loyal, obedient, beautiful, and most of all, not independent enough to have a, a, a life or a career of your own. I had a life. You took it from me. I gave you a better life. You should be grateful. Pretty soon, we're gonna forget about all that and we're gonna start again. Don't you wanna be happy again the way that we used to be? Never happened. I'll gut you in your sleep. <laughs> oh, I, I don't think so. Oh, okay. You know, I'm gonna give you a little something. 
to settle you down, okay? Allison, Al stop it, stop it. No. Allison, no. Allison! It's gonna be a chilly one tonight. I thought I'd build us a cozy little fire. Would you like that? Now, we're gonna start fresh. We're gonna erase all that. We're gonna have a clean slate. We'll start all over again. You know, I find the honeymoon phase is the best part of any relationship anyway. <laughs> I'm looking forward to us falling in love all over again. How about you? Well, how about that? I guess sometimes the old ways are best. about a quarter mile tops. Why did you tell me before we're right on top? What do you mean? I just did. Yeah, well, hopefully you didn't hear us. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I want to see what we're dealing with. What about me? You, you're staying here. It's safer. No, 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 no. Band, the dark in the middle of the freaking woods? I don't think so. Listen to me. No, I'm not listening to anything. Number one, I got you this gig, and number two, that is my best friend I'm coming with. All right, all right, all right, just be quiet. Bring the flashlight. I think I'm learning after four wives, they're never gonna do what you tell them to do anyway. Jack, what are you doing? There's a perfectly good road right here. If you heard the truck, he's watching the road, not the woods. Now, come on, follow me. Come on. Pupils still dilated? That's good. Let's check that pulse out. Huh? Well, that's a little weak. Okay. I'll be right back. She's there, now where's he? Do you think he heard us? He might have. Which means we got no time to lose. Is he have any guns that you're aware of? Well, I've only been here once. He wasn't waving any around or anything. Then I'm going to get her. And this time, you stay put. You stay right here. But I don't... No. You may be armed. Now, don't move. Unless, of course, something happens. In which case, you hightail it back to the truck and you get the hell out of here. You got it? Got yeah. it. Good girl. Great. Okay, if something goes wrong, hightail it through by yourself.
just gonna try to... Don't worry about him. First, we gotta get you out of here. Allison, come on. You can do this. You can do this. Okay. out here. I need you to listen to me. Listen to me. Your real name is Anna. Anna Tyson. Anna. Remember? You're Anna. Do you remember? Huh? Anna. You have a daughter. That's right. You have a daughter and you have a husband and they're alive. They're alive and they're waiting for you. Deal with him. Come on. I want you to sit here, stay here, and don't move, okay? I'll be right back. Allison? Upstairs, sweetheart. Allison? 
Allison. Come on out, honey. I know you're in here. Come on, Allison. This is silly. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm Special Agent Purdue. You're Allison Morgan? No, I'm Anna Tyson. You remember that? You remember them? Because they remember you. Mm -hmm. 